Today we're doing a quick demo showing some of the scripts that structural engineers and architects can use to work much faster than has been possible before. Another advantage of these scripts is that everything is modelled and ready to send rather than working in 2D. This includes auto framing and design, wind loading, reinforcement detailing and structural modelling. Here we're turning an architectural model with no structural information at all straight into a structural analysis model. And that's done simply by selecting the elements, whatever they are, their lines or solids. And you can see there we've created a fully connected structural model with the framing in red, the floor plates in orange and the shear walls in blue. You can change the direction of the framing and you can change the spacing that you want the structural framing to be. You can analyze the results directly in Grasshopper or you can output to programs like eTabs or SpaceGas. Here we're looking at our auto framing script where the framing updates based on the outline that the architect creates automatically. You can see it works in real time. So as the architect moves the building around, the framing will automatically update to suit and the spacing of the frame and the column locations um, can all be controlled by the inputs in the script. So this is a really quick way to get some live parametric feedback for the architect of where the spacing and the framing will be located. The next thing we can do is automatically design the members based on that framing layout. So here you can see all the members have been designed as a composite system. So they've each been sized as universal beams. And because it's composite, they have the amount of studs and the pre-camber associated with them as well. So now the architect can see the sizes of the members as well as the layout and they can see how deep each section is so that they can plan. You can see that this works live as well the same way as the auto framing. If we just drag this section down here the building shape updates the auto framing and the auto design all update automatically as well. With the next script we can work out where the wind load is applied to each of the members in a building. We're using the same example again and you can see the colour coding that's based on where the front face of the wind hits the building, the side faces and the rear. So you can change that in the script to say which direction the wind is hitting the building and you can see the arrows give you the magnitude of the force hitting those elements and that's output by the script and you can plug that into analysis very quickly as well. With this next script we're going to do some modelled reinforcement detailing so here we're going to select some elements and apply a scheme which is loose bars and legs or stirrups in a set spacing and here we're going to add some loose bars to that so they're L bars which will stick into the footing below so that's why they're sticking out and now we're going to add the footing in and the footing has bars in both directions but we want them bent in both directions as well so we can select that and then we're going to select another line which are the ground beams and apply a different scheme to that and this is another scheme for reinforcement layout so there we now have the basis of the footing reinforcement which is the ground beams sitting on top of a pad footing 
and with a section that comes up that allows for the L bars to come down into the footing and they can be into a uh, used as holding down bolts or spliced with holding down bolts into a column above or they can be the starter bars for the column and here we're just selecting all the elements so once you've done one you can just select as many as you want and click apply and we're doing that to the pad footings then the corner pieces and then finally we're doing the ground beams so you can see it's pretty quick we've already got a fully modeled 3d reinforcement there all parametrically controlled so you can update them as required finally for today we're going to apply some structural sizes to the model and that's simply done by selecting lines they can be static lines as shown here or they can be parametric lines and we're just selecting whatever size we want once we're happy we can apply it to as many lines as we want so now we've got a steel member size modeled in for each column and then likewise we can do the same for the beams and all we're doing here is just control copy control paste and using the scripts in parallel so selecting a different size for the floor framing so it's a universal beam rather than a column size and you can see we're applying it just to that one member to start off with we're going to increase that size we can see that it's centered around the line but we want the top to be associated with the line so we've done that there and now we're just going to select all the floor members obviously if you had more time you'd go through and individually size each member correctly but this is just for demo purposes so you can see that we've already done that floor it's pretty quick as a script and if we fast forward we've done the whole building you can see it scrolls pretty quickly and you can change all these members on the fly because it's all parametric so you can see we've got our full model there with 3D reinforcement, 3D steel and it's all labelled and ready to go. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.